I recently did a video on this super dumb self-proclaimed alpha male dude called Wes Watson. Now, in this video, all we did was make fun about how he got embarrassed, owned, and destroyed. Right. Men don't have tits. We can agree on that. Physically, men he, usually have he hair. Has, we can agree on that, too. He has physically. crossed over gender barriers. I think we can see each side had different By, by yeah. choice, crossing gender barriers. By growing tits. We heard you the first time you made the joke. Like, you're just lame. The joke wasn't funny, and you have no charisma whatsoever. Now, the reason why everybody on the internet is roasting this brainless behemoth lump of cells is the same reason he's never invited anywhere. It's because of his pride and ego. Fresh and Fit had a healthy panel with healthy discussions, and he came in trying to bulldoze the conversation, insult, and threaten people for having a difference in opinion. In the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt because off I've been, and tell me you're fucking proud. Because, Men don't have tits. No, guys. they go to prison where they get fucked yeah, up. Yeah, they get fucked up the ass. You've never been to prison. Look, <laughs> that's what happens. You don't know. They go to prison well, where they get fucked You get your ass on, beat on, in front of everybody. Because that's I knew Wes was an imbecile. The very second Wes says real men go to prison, I give up the shtick, bro. But apparently Wes has an issue with my video and videos that other content creators made about him. So he did a response speaking to us. So we're going to react to it, man. Let's see what Wes has to say, people. Oh, my God. Do you guys realize when you come to my page to comment, I own you. None of my people go to anybody else's pages. The saddest part about this video is that Wes hasn't realized yet that this Andrew Tape archetype is out of season. Like, it's so 2021. Like, it came and went, Wes. Like, you don't need to pretend to be Andrew Tate no more, bro. Right, yo, Wes is literally changing his voice. Wes is literally contorting his voice to sound like Andrew Tate. You want to hear Wes's real voice? Here's his real voice. This is after I've done my shoe term. This is after I caught an SBI myself. This is when I was in a better position to be a leader and say, hey, you have. We're just on this page crushing it. This dweeb is literally unraveling, and things being a laughing stock of the internet is a W. Did I do something that made tens of millions of people watch me to my loyal followers? Let's go. Wes thinks getting exposed by multiple creators and having tens of millions of views out there of you being exposed and looking really bad is a good thing. You see, Wes thinks he's rage baiting because he's a thought leader. That's not the case, right? Like usually if you are a rage baiting thought leader, people will actually come to your videos to watch you. But if you're just just being embarrassed and talked about because you are a dweeb and a low cow, that usually doesn't work out in your favor, especially for Wes. It's not working out in his favor at all. Wes has 500 plus thousand subscribers, but he can't even break 20,000 views. Wes is doing as little as like 8,000 views on some videos. His channel is literally dying in front of him, but he's too dumb to realize this and think the hate is a good thing. We don't go DM anyone comment on anyone's shit. We don't go negative comment places. When you come to my page and take your time, I'm running you. I have you. I own the real estate in your mind. It's sad, but I get it. All you guys are the skinny 10 inch arm having titty little like that stupid on stage. None of you guys will ever get me to apologize. What would I apologize for? Being on your guys' side, censoring a bunch of beta b You guys are trying to censor a real mother and It ain't gonna happen. You want all men to walk around with tits like that. Wes is profoundly stupid, so let me try to help him out. Wes, the audience that you're talking to or the audience that you believe is giving you uh, some slack, right? The audience who you refer to as beta or as liberals, Wes, that's a lie, right? Like, the audience you're referring to are people who watch Fresh and Fit. They're red pill. The guy you were debating, Andrew Wilson, he's a red pill dude as well. So you're talking to your demographic and your demographic is telling you, use a dweeb, right? They're telling you, bro, like you're not stoic. You know, you're not an alpha male. You don't maintain your frame. You're actually a dweeb. You're a psychotic dude. You are yelling and acting like a brat and resorted to personal attacks because you were too dumb to engage in the discourse mentally. So they're saying, your audience, Wes, is saying you are not what we want to listen to. You's a dweeb. So now they're clowning you, and people outside of your audience is also clowning you as well. So you can't just put this on the liberals, bro, right? Or the quote-unquote beta mills or the leftists, bro. 
is literally your own demographic of saying, West, you are a dweeb. And this, the worst part about this is those comments are all bots. There's very few real people. And the few people that tried to call me out, don't those dudes have tits too? This is Colt. He can't come to the realization how lame he is. And he can't cope with the realization that he's a locale. So now all the mean comments are bots. These are not bot comments, bro. Like you are literally the laughing stock of the internet. Like, and it may hurt your little pride or ego because you thought you was like an alpha male, but you're not, bro. You was a dweeb and we're laughing at you. Why doesn't anyone ever pull up? I go to Elevation Gym at 5 a.m. on weekdays and 8 a.m. on weekends. Just pull up. Just do it and quit talking in the comments. This is why Wes had a hard time on the panel among thought leaders and people who actually use their brain. It's because Wes is a Neanderthal bot. Wes literally thinks that because we disagree, we want to get violent, right? Because that's how his brain works, right? Disagreement, violence. Wes, we can think you are a dweeb, a lame, a weirdo without wanting to put hands on you. Like, we have no reason to. We're just here to laugh at you and, like, you know, and, and tell you how lame you are, bro. We don't care enough to come and want to fight you, Wes, right? That's the thing about having opinions, bro. We can all have opinions and disagree, Wes. And you don't need to be getting in any type of altercation, bro, especially... If your ex-wife is telling people, man, that like she's currently taking you to court because you put hands on her, uh, like, you, like you should handle that first. You mentioned, you know, publicly that there was a lot of abuse in in your marriage, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So I don't want to speak on that until legally, like things calm down. So, but there's definitely a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. And you, you went. You went public recently, Val, and you said that, unfortunately, you had to file charges against him, and we can't really get into that because there is a case pending. But I was disappointed. Listen, and I know better to take the word of a scorned woman, right? So I'm going to say handle it in court. But until you handle that in court, bro, you probably shouldn't be inviting others to come and pull up on you and get into altercation and other legal consequences, bro. You should probably leave the fighting alone, Wes. I actually went to prison for actually doing shit. Every one of you guys will try to unmake what a real motherfucker does. So if you guys want my response to the fresh and fit uh, stage, I went back on their show first. I'm the reason it got a bunch of views. And guess what? I would never apologize to some titty having that looks like their mommy dressed them. What world do you guys live in? Where those are men. The man can't speak for 10 seconds without bringing up prison. He's literally obsessed with it. Yo, the title of this video is I Would Never Apologize. Prison Gangs. What does prison... Uh, <laughs> is he put this in every title, which kind of shows, like, how outdated he is in, in terms of, like, YouTube growth. And I'll be real, bro. Like, his subscribers don't really seem that real either, bro. You feel me? Because they're just not engaged at all. I've watched a few videos on Wes, and I haven't seen any content creators demand an apology yet from Wes. If he is hearing that, which I doubt it, it's probably from his own supporters who are saying, bro, just apologize so we can get past this. So he's pretty much putting up a middle finger at his own supporters, which is very stupid, right? But who knows, man, you me? You know, hopefully Wes figured things out, man. But you know who I'm also hoping figure things out, man? This No Jumper employee. Click on this video right here to find out why this No Jumper employee crashed out after being kidnapped for dissing WAC 100. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks.